Ben Nahum, one stock you like in the Newberger Berman Intrinsic Value Fund is Charles River Labs. Stock's up around 8% so far this year. It's been volatile over the past few weeks, but it's not that expensive. Only trades around 17 times next year's earnings. Tell me why you like it. Greg, one of the reasons why we like Charles River is if you think about the broader environment, one of the most exciting long-term sectors to invest in has been biotech, right? If you look at the biotech index, it's tripled. But for value investors, it's really hard. How do we play in this part of the marketplace? Charles River is a great example of how a value investor can participate in the growth of the biotech industry. In fact, if you look at Charles River, 2014, all the new drugs that came out, they worked in over half of those drugs that came to market. So we think it's a reasonable, reasonable way to participate in the growth of the biotech industry. And you're also a fan of Verant. Now, this stock is down around 17% in just the past month. It's in the intelligence business. They deal a lot with fraud. Tell me about the stock, and then tell me why you like it. We couldn't be more excited about the long-term prospects of an individual company as we are with Verant. Uh, it did have a tough quarter. Foreign currencies hurting them a little bit. But at 13 times earnings, and in the markets that they, pl that they play in, we consider it a compelling value. Now, uh, Verant does two things. They sell equipment to governments for surveillance, and they also sell software to call centers and learn how to monitor voice communication and video communication. They've recently entered the cybersecurity market with a very large, exciting contract, which we believe is with the Israeli Defense Forces, a prime user of, of cyber tools. And now they're trying to take this cyber product and roll it out to the commercial market. We think there's significant upside here in Verant, and at 13 times earnings, uh, you know, we can see a compelling return for anybody with a long-term investment horizon. All right, well, speaking long-term, here's a blast from the past. You like Rambus. Now, people used to talk about Rambus during the last tech bubble uh, in the late 1990s. It was a high flyer. It's been flying pretty well recently, up about 24% year-to-date. Tell me about this one. Love Rambus. But the Rambus you knew and the Rambus of today, two very different companies. Brand new CEO at Rambus, whose, whose mandate was, we've got a lot of technology here, but we're not going to market correctly. So Ron Black came in and said, we're going to stop suing our customers, and what we're going to be is a collaborative partner with them. And what we've seen is that Ron has been able to settle all the outstanding disputes, create a long runway of royalty revenue for the company, it's got a very clean balance sheet, and now he's embarked on the next leg of the Rambus story, which is growth into new markets. They have a new market opportunity in securing your cell phone. There's a product called Crypto Manager that they've licensed to Qualcomm, that Qualcomm will be rolling out in its chipsets. And we think that if Ron's growth efforts are successful, the company can double over the next five years, meaning substantial upside for anyone who's currently invested in Rambus. All right, and then finally, Aris Group, stocks down around 20% so far this year. They're in the set-top box business. Tell me about its intrinsic value, why this is a good choice for your fund. This is the classic intrinsic value idea. When we look at companies, we take a long-term view of these companies. We're not concerned about short-term issues. We try to say, what's this company going to be worth three and five years from today? What's the management team going to do differently? We buy into uncertainty. So there can be nothing more uncertain right now than the set-top box. Everyone's talking about cord cutting. But if you look at Aris and you look at the management team, they've done a great job consolidating the industry. They bought the Motorola set-top box business from Google that Google never wanted it. In doing so, they doubled the earnings of the company. They're now about to acquire the number two competitor, Pace Group. We think they can accomplish the same thing, a highly accretive acquisition to earnings. So while everyone's preoccupied, with the cutting of the cord and OTT offerings from people. Aris is quietly consolidating the cable business, and we think there's meaningful earnings growth in front of the company at a PE of 12. So we love the company. We've been invested there for quite some time and very respectful of the management there. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Ben. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. And thank you for watching The Street.